Starbucks. I order a caramel macchiato grande, really big one. I order a caramel hot chocolate. If I'm not feeling like I want a hot drink, then I order, um, what I had it the other day, mango and passion fruit, one of the juice blended. Frappuccinos. Yes, one of them drinks. What's one thing in your closet that you cannot live without? I'd say a pair of like, a pair of trainers, really. Cause... Yeah, which pair? like your converse or something something you know that you can always wear something you can always rely on my black cardigan my the famous black cardigan my um, black top shop cardigan with the fur on it as a matter of fact oh <laughs> <laughs> as a matter of fact well enough she has it right next to them. this cardigan right here that i am taking with me in the car i um, couldn't live without this cardigan What's one thing that most people probably wouldn't know about you? I used to altar serve What's when I was thing? younger. What's a church? <laughs> so you didn't know that, did you? No, I didn't know that. I think that people probably don't know that. She's a man. <laughs> She's a man. <laughs> what? People probably don't know about me is that I study quite a manly course. Sculpture course, which is quite quite manly and I don't do um, makeup or styling or anything like that. I don't study anything like that at uni. Name one thing that you want to do before you die. Sail around the world. Say, sail? Sail around the world. I want to travel around the world. By boat. Yeah, you want to sail, I want to travel. By airplane. What's one food that you cannot live without? Mum's cooking really. I can't live without sushi. Phrase, do you live your life by? You only live once. YOLO! YOLO! What do you like and dislike about the YouTube community? Yeah, impress everyone out there. And if you don't, then. You get criticism. Yeah, you get criticism. Quite harsh criticism. Yeah. Um, but you know. Yeah, that, that's probably it. What do you like about the YouTube community? Well, I like the YouTube community. The open stores opportunity. Yeah. You know, from just normal people. It gives, it gives the chance to, uh, to, um, to show everyone out there. That, What's your number one most listened to song on iTunes? We listen to Birdie's Skinny Love. Like over and over again, yeah. And it was a new download, and I think it went right to number, like, number one listen to. Like what kind of style would you define yourself as having? Pretty trendy, casual, most of the time. I like, I like, you know, being, being more sort of comfortable. I would describe my style as grungy, retro, all things leather and studs. Um, it changes all the time, so I don't really have a particular style. What's your favourite number? My favourite number? Yes. Favourite number, please. My 19. What? 19. My birthday is the 19th of um, October. So I chose number 19 as my uh, favourite number. Favourite number is 24. I don't have a reason for why that is my favourite number. But um, it just is. 24. How old are you? Why? No, not really. <laughs> you know that, did you? Ah! hobbies that you have? Rugby, fight my golf, tennis, squash. My two hobbies are shopping and baking things. Um, name your two pet peeves. Smelly feet. <laughs> Not mentioning any names. <laughs> I don't have smelly, smelly feet. feet. Any names. <laughs> Not washing your hands after going to the toilet. Who does that? <laughs> you get upside down a bit of a not being able to clean up after yourself after after your own mess and another pet peeve is boys with long nails I don't like boys with long nails really don't like it puts me off it puts me off them what is your guilty pleasure I actually quite like Justin Bieber I, I know the words to his song my guilty pleasure is Justin Bieber's new song I really like Justin Bieber's new song if you guys liked it leave all your comments and requests down below Sure to get back to you. Love you. Pretty trendy, you know, with with the, with the times.